Hey guys, welcome to Just Be Handy. It's time to do a rear differential oil change. You'll need two of the Subaru gaskets. They are 8039180060. These are the smaller ones for the rear diff. You'll need a drain pan. You'll need a torque wrench, um, a 10 millimeter hex, to undo the uh, bolts and then something to transfer the fluid from the uh, container that you have to to uh, be able to get it into the differential. Now uh, this is something that I do every 50,000 miles on my my uh, Subarus and it has done me really well. I'm coming up on uh, 48,000 so I'm just going to do it since it's a beautiful day today and um, you just need a 75W90. I chose the Amsoil. It's only like 0.8 quart, so I'm just going to do that. And the cool thing is, with the Outback, you don't really need to lift it. You can have plenty of access. Um, so it's about eight inches off the ground, and then that's still a few inches more uh, that you, you have to get under there. All right, so uh, without further ado, let me uh, get going on that, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, first get the drain pan under. Get it there really well. And then put your 10 millimeter hex on a breaker bar, because sometimes these are in there fairly good. Get it in so that you could Twist it to counterclockwise. There we go. It's a lot easier to do it with the breaker bar. And always take off the fill plug first so that you can make sure you can um, be able to fill the unit. So that fill plug will go off to the side. Now it's the drain plug. And uh, do drive the vehicle, uh, you know, about 10 miles or so at least before you start. So here we go. That's why you need a breaker bar. It helps a lot. There we go. And then get the oil pan out so that you can definitely get that oil to go into the pan and not all over you. There we go. And there's quite a bit on the magnet. This is the first oil change so that is not bad. So next I'll let it just drain, clean the plugs, and then put new gaskets on these uh, drain on the drain and fill plug and then uh, put the the drain plug in first and then start filling it. It looks like they have a little sealer in there. Um, it doesn't really require a sealer since you have a gasket but we'll let it uh, sit there and drain. Alright guys you could see this is the drain plug which has the magnet in it and this is the fill plug which does not and I have new gaskets in there. Here's the old gaskets. You can see they have corrosion on the ends because they have an aluminum uh, piece in the middle. Um, and then they have these rubberized gaskets on either end. You see that's crushed very well. So you don't really want to reuse these because you're going to put, uh, like I'm putting in a synthetic oil at about $16 a quart. Why waste it? for a you know a, a five dollar to seven dollar gasket uh, and I did get this at the dealership and uh, they match the internet prices I found so I just called them up said hey found an internet price of this would you match it and they did so you know why not get it right out, right from your Subaru dealer all right uh, it has finished draining and I will show you the specifications for fill and um, torque. Next. 
Okay guys, here's the Subaru manual for the Outback 2017. As you can see, the rear differential requires a 7590 and it takes 0.8 US quarts and uh, that's the oil capacity. For the front diff, we'll talk about that in another video, it requires 1.3 US quarts. So if you think about it, you can almost have two quarts just to do the whole car. I would buy three just in case you spill or have any other issues. But you can use 75W90 for the front diff as well, even though the Subaru Extra manual is recommended. Uh, but they do say that you can use the 75W90, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, for the AMS oil. So uh, that is the capacity. As for the torque, I went online at uh, my local library and pulled up the auto uh, repair source and they were saying the same thing about capacities. As you can see here, 0.8 liter is about uh, the uh, 0.8 of a quart and then the 1.2 uh, liter is about 1.3 quarts and same thing about using 75W90 for the rear diff. Now here are the torque specs for that rear diff. It's 37 foot-pounds uh, and there's two plugs that are 37 foot-pounds. So that's what we will be doing is 37 foot-pounds on the, uh, both the drain and fill plug. All right, that's what we'll do next. Okay, guys, we've got the fill plug, I mean the drain plug here, as you can see with the uh, magnet in it, new gasket. Put the uh, 10 millimeter hex in there, and then we will get that on. And then we're going to torque it right away so we don't have any leakage going on. Okay, and then we have a torque wrench set to 37 foot-pounds. Could get an extension for that, but I'll try and just turn it around this way. There we go. That's 37 foot-pounds. Okay, and then now we can start filling it. Now the plunger I have will only do 0.28 quarts at a time so that's going to be about uh, uh, four fills to get it full and then to start seeing the oil drip down the top so I won't bore you too much with that but I will show it to you uh, along the way Okay guys, it is starting to drip out of there, so we are done here. We got to uh, close it up and we'll be completed soon. Okay, now we're going to put the uh, top uh, fill plug back in with a new gasket. and then torque that to 37 foot-pounds. Alright guys, I'm back with the extension. Alright, that's torqued down to 37. 
hit this guy one more time. Excellent. So there you have it. That is a rear diff oil change on a 2017 Subaru Outback. And no need to lift the vehicle. There's plenty of room to get in here. I'm about 5'8", 194 pounds. So I'm not a too little of a guy either. And it wasn't a problem for me to get in there and do this without having to lift the car up. And uh, saved a ton of money doing it. Again, do get the gaskets from the Subaru dealer. I will put the link um, down below for the Amazon affiliate one. But I'll give you the part numbers and what oils I would also recommend using if you didn't want to use AMS oil. Um, but there you have it, guys. Um, this is a good service to do every uh 30 or uh, 50,000 miles depending on your driving and as you can see I live in the Midwest and it's very rusty here this is a 2017 with less than 50,000 miles on it all right guys God bless and uh, look for my next video on how to do the front diff